Barry Kirkhoff is joining me from the SBDC. Hi, Barry. How are you? Good morning, Kelly. And usual, it's the highlight of the week. It's good to be here it's and good the to see you again. Of the week. Yes. Well, it is the highlight of the week when we get to talk about local business. Yes, it is. It's uplifting and it's fun. And you always bring me such great guests. And today we have Nick Teets with us today. He is the CEO of ILT Studios. Nick, thank you for coming in today. Yeah, thank you for having me. This is fantastic. Uh, you know, there's so many things, so many questions I have. I guess, first of all, why don't you tell me a little bit about you and then tell us what ILT Studios is? Great. Thank you. Sure. Well, my name is Nick Teets. I'm an innovator and an entrepreneur. I help develop and discover assets and activate people and ideas. Currently, I'm the CEO of a company called ILT Studios. ILT simply stands for I Like That. Oh, we like have designed a startup studio in St. Cloud, Minnesota to empower underestimated entrepreneurs in underserved geographies, so rural, urban, and informal settlements in third world countries. Our goal is to start a thousand companies over the next 10 years. So I'm not talking about one startup studio. I'm talking about multiple startup studios mm -hmm. where we hire entrepreneurs to start great businesses in rural, urban, and informal settlements. What a great idea. Thank you. What a fantastic idea. We're super idea. excited about it. I mean, and this is a great place to do it. I feel like we're a melting pot here. We have all these beautiful, wonderful cultures that all kind of combine here. But I think we have a lot of people here that need help in getting those businesses started. And we all will get to benefit from that once we get them going. But right, trying to find the right tools to get it going, that can be difficult. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I, I, one of the things that I jokingly say is if you can get paid 70 grand to run a Taco Bell, why don't we pay entrepreneurs to start businesses? Now, I would make a terrible manager at Taco Bell without training. <laughs> right. So we need to train our entrepreneurs so we can change the success rate or improve the success rate yeah. of our early stage and startup businesses. So that's why we started in our startup studio a company called ILT Academy, where we teach and train the lean startup process through two 10-week programs. We have an intro program that's free to entrepreneurs, and then we have an advanced 10-week program that's also free to entrepreneurs because we go around and we work with economic development groups, SBDCs, and other generous sponsors to unlock the talent in the community. Oh, that's fantastic. And that's what we were talking about, the SBDC, and how, how ILT Studios work hand-in-hand. Hand. Yes. It's not a competition. It's a hand-in-hand. Hand. One can help the other in so many ways. And Nick, you were saying you've worked with the SBDC for a few years. Yeah, well, you know, I, I, I mean, I don't just partner and collaborate with uh, Barry and the other SBDC offices around the state, but I'm a member of the Central Minnesota SBDC, or a client, I should say. Okay. And it's now, been a huge help for, for my startup business, because we are a startup, training startups, how to start up. How long did it take you to figure out that you wanted to do this? Um... I don't know. I've just been helping people for the last 15 years, like work on different ideas, software, different things. Okay. I worked at a company called The Nerdery down in Bloomington. The last year that I was there, I developed over 100 software applications. So I like to say that I figured out all the ways not to develop software. And now I just want to do the same thing with businesses. <laughs> I love that. Now, do you just serve central Minnesota here or is it beyond? Um, it's, it's actually all over the state of Minnesota. We have a lot of strong partnerships in northeast and northwest Minnesota along with West Central Minnesota. And then, of course, here in Central Minnesota, we just picked up our first sponsors in the Twin Cities with the Finnovation Lab. And we've got some new sponsorships that are coming in the Fargo area, courtesy of Great North Ventures, which is a, a really great startup here in St. Cloud, too. Goodness. All right, let's talk about um, the difference between uh, SCORE or the SBDC, ILT Studios. Can you talk a little bit about all those different things and how they work together, how they're different? Yeah, Barry, do you want to talk about that? I don't want to be the only guy talking yeah. today. <laughs> sure. I'll, you don't I'll, want to hog the I'll, microphone. Yeah. I'll, I'll, take, I'll take a stab at that. Of, of course, and I, I'll kind of go back to the conversation that Nick and I have had over the couple of years these, we've worked together as clients. I really like having ILT here because he runs them through a completely different process. I've been through the ILT process, not the 10 week, but enough to know exactly how he does it. Mm -hmm. And he does a lot of great things, preparing people just to have the confidence to talk about their product, their idea, and as well as look at the, uh, the vetted. And Nick has clients that go, no, I don't think this is going to work. And that's okay. Huh. It's a safe place to fail. And by the time they get done there, they understand their product. They understand the, the, the market and the things they need to accomplish. I see. And then we just said, well, okay, they stopped there. But Nick, and we both agreed, when they leave ILT and they really want to go out and do this, they have a couple of choices. They can find and go out and find investors. Mm -hmm. 
And that, that can be a little challenging, especially sure. with the current mm -hmm. economy. I think it's going to be a little bit more challenging from what I'm reading. There's a gap. Okay. And that's where the SBDC can fill the gap. And we talked about that. I said, Nick, I think we can fill the gap. Okay. And we're learning how to fill that gap together. And um, probably a future client that will be on will be somebody <laughs> that worked with Nick, was introduced at, when upon the completion of ILT, mm -hmm. and, is a, and still working a little bit with Nick, is working with the SBDC, and now has taken the idea, vetted it through ILT, mm -hmm. and has started the business, and this is where we kick in to help them with the things that they don't learn at ILT might be like the cash flow analysis and things like that yeah. and the operational side of it. And Nick, I've watched for the last couple of years and the way he uh, pre approaches the ideation uh, and the time he invests, when they do come to us, it saves us a whole lot of time and we can do what we're good at is the development, ideation, yeah. development, success, and they go through their chart mm -hmm. chapter and hopefully they come back to visit us mm -hmm. for a succession plan. Oh, so th awesome. this is, uh, it's been working very well. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been really great, you know, and, and, you know, what I love the most is by, you know, having strong partners is that they can help shore up and meet the entrepreneurs and, and specifically like, the SBDCs around the state and here in central Minnesota, like Barry's just got such a great network here. And, and that's the big thing that we're really trying to do at ILT Academy. Like one of our missions is obviously find the siloed innovators and entrepreneurs yeah. and then get them ready and prepared to commercialize their idea. We don't do all the steps in the process, sure. but that early vetting, uh, you know, ideation, design thinking, design innovation, and then really showing them how to do active customer discovery to validate this business. So yeah. a number of them, like Barry was mentioned, they'll get to the end of the 10 weeks. And then our big question for them is, do you want to spend the next 10 years of your life trying to build this product and start this business? If the answer is not an overwhelming yes, then they should pause. And, and think really about think about if this is what they want to do. But if they want to move forward, man, there are a lot of great resources that we can get them connected to. And, and that's been a great handoff back mm -hmm. and forth between us and the SBDC and some of the other incubators and accelerators that are around the Twin Cities. Right. My pitch and presentation of them is what if these early stage founders or people that have started a business but want to grow, what if they already knew these things? What if they could walk and chew gum and then come into your program. You could focus on things that would move the needle forward faster, and we can help serve them in a in a way that's not being met, that gap that Barry oh, mentioned. That is, I mean, it's such a great idea. Can you, I mean, for the length of time that you've been doing, I'm sure you've worked with groups, and like you said, there's been people who have gone through the program and actually thought, okay, <coughs> should I or shouldn't I? Can you share some of your favorite stories of success with us? I mean, a little bit anyway, briefly? Yeah, yeah no, that's great. Um, well, you know, it's really interesting in the last 18 months, I mean, we're a startup. We just started. Mm -hmm. We've served over 300 entrepreneurs. We've done 15 cohorts. I mean, we've really gotten a chance to meet a lot of different types of businesses, high tech, low tech, no tech, for profits and nonprofits, all that have come through and they're much and they're in a much better spot to move forward on their business. In fact, you know, we've had a number of people finish the first 10 weeks and they've been offered fifty to $100,000 to move forward on their business. And then yeah. that question is, well, is this what you really want to do? Because as soon as someone gives you that money, now your job you is to it. invest it. You got to spend it. You got to grow that business as fast as possible. I think uh, we had a really great success. Uh, we have an entrepreneur named Rosemary that that just finished the second 10-week program. She's raised almost $100,000. She just was awarded a Finnovation Fellowship, which is a $50,000 uh, grant so that she can focus full-time on her business. We have another entrepreneur that came through. I think it was a month after he finished the first 10-week cohort. He raised over $130,000. Formerly, he was a, a pipe welder. And, th you know, these people just have really good ideas, important problems that need to be solved, and we can help unlock that talent and get them moving forward. You know, it's so interesting. Last week we had uh, this wonderful woman from the immigration services that yes. she created. And talk about, right, creating something that matters to you. Like for her, she's an immigrant. She came here and she thought, gosh, I'm a lawyer. 
I have I have something I can offer people that really need this service in between. And she started it, and now and that's a fantastic business too. Oh, she she had a fantastic story too. Uh, and isn't and that kind of what the, you work with a lot? Is people like I mm-hmm. I have this story. This is what happened to me in my life, or whatever. And I think there's a need for this. And then that's when they come to you and. But maybe not have any idea of how to find investors or what to move forward, but they have an idea. Right. And if you, in this 10-week programs, these two programs are those things that can really help get them to the place where they need, where they can get those answers. Yeah. Wow. And, and, and another shake out, Nick shakes them out. Are you ready for this? And then they come to, and they, they have no money. Um, there's still ways of doing it because people, I, you heard mm-hmm. me talk about it before. Yes, that's the end game, but maybe somebody won't, but you need to scale it. I mean, it, it's it's a lot of work. We yeah. know that. That's you know the we've talked about that before. And when you see the the people that are going, yeah, I'm in for this, and don't, don't hold me back. I had a client in yesterday that I was kind of, you know, we had that that iffy. I wasn't feeling good, and they, I don't think they were feeling good about us. And we sat down, and we dealt, drove dove uh-huh. deeper. And at the end of this, I said, you know, I felt this relationship was going nowhere. But I said, now that we've really talked spent some it. time and talked through it and brainstormed it. Um, they're going to be opening a business and, you know, mm-hmm. it's, and it's going to be a main street business, Wow! but they, and they're, they're, they're basically bootstrapping it. They've self-invested. They've been, they're serious. Wow. They've been buying as they go and there's ways to do that. Sure. Uh, and that's the things that you have to reinforce and support when they're making that kind of commitment. Yeah. Yeah. You well, see it. I see it. <clears throat> and we've got some, you know, we have some really cool success stories. Like we've got a great team. We've got a, a, a three other instructors that are, are helping in the classes. We've got a program manager, some ops people that they're all centered here to, you know, increase founders success and their success points. And I think, um, you know, we talked about like, how do we know that we're moving the needle forward? Well, you know, one of those indicators for us, there's a, the, the premier business plan competition in Minnesota is called the Minnesota cup. And this last year there were, oh, they had a record applicant pool. I think they had over, almost a thousand applicants that applied. We had six entrepreneurs from the West and Central Minnesota region make the semifinals Man. Um, that, that came through ILT Academy, which is super cool. Um, one that came through our pitch competition, regional pitch competition that we had. Mm-hmm. One was a high school group that came through out of Big Lake High School that we've been partnering close with. And then... Um, they just announced the finals, and we had one finalist, Annie Kaiser, who's doing a halal-based beauty product um, that's in the finals of the Minnesota Cup. So we're Exciting. really, really excited about that. Oh, we will have to talk to her. I yeah. can't wait to, wait to hear how that goes. I know you were you were checking out your, your website here online about some things that are coming up that people might be interested. Do you want to give us those dates and tell us what the, what's happening? Yeah, that would be great. So for anyone that wants to learn more about how to come to ILT Academy and learn more about our 10-week training programs. Again, they are free for the entrepreneurs. You simply go to iltacademy.io. And then when you're in there, you can hit explore programs. We have two cohorts underway right now, in the one in the Twin Cities and one in West Central Minnesota. And we're accepting applications for two additional cohorts, oh. one in Northwest Minnesota mm-hmm. and one in Northeast Minnesota. So basically, if you live north of St. Cloud, um, anywhere from <laughs> Grand, well, uh, Grand Forks all the way to Duluth, all the way up to War Road, we've got an opportunity for you to take your business to the next level. Simply come to iltacademy.io and click that apply now button once you go into the startup program. How exciting. And, you know, the, reg- the regular listeners to your program, I, you know, uh, we hear a lot about Princeton. Yeah, yeah, we and do of course, hear a lot you about know, Princeton. I'm a Fergus Falls otter. <laughs> and right. I think, well, Nick, I have to agree, since ILT's gotten involved, Fergus Falls oh is on fire. Are they you? are. They yes. are. They actually, they, they came, we opened up a new entrepreneur hub in downtown St. Cloud. It's our ILT Studios base camp for entrepreneurs to come and work out. We've worked really closely with uh, Natalia Bowman, who's the uh, president of the Economic Development Group. They have just, they're going to be christening their new entrepreneur space uh-huh. and having an ILT Academy there. It's, it's awesome in Fergus Falls. They've been an amazing partner for us. Super fun. Now, where are you located here in St. Cloud? If people want to, uh, we are downtown St. Cloud, right next to Brick and Burr. 
Suburban and across the street from the Wells Fargo. Gotcha. We've got a 12,000 square foot space that's been gifted to us to build up this entrepreneur center. We have a monthly startup social that we do in the evening, and we're going to be kicking off a morning kind of like startup Java session where we get the whole community together and we yeah. start really celebrating entrepreneurs, the business community, and the jobs that are available in these new startups and small businesses. You know, there are people hiring, you know, believe it or not, and there are more startup entrepreneurs than we think yeah. in this community. We just need to gather. We need to gather. When is your uh, weekly evening meeting? Um, our, weekly, our weekly evening meeting is on Wednesday nights once a month. Um, I need to check the date. I think it's the third Wednesday of the month. Okay. And then we'll be starting our morning series coming up. We're looking at September, and we'll be making some announcements about that. Very exciting. You make sure you let us know so we can let us, everybody know here. Yeah, we, we, you know, we'd love to do a telecast from there. Oh, um, that would be fun, too. I'm not <laughs> sure how to get things done, but we'll have to figure those things out, right? Well, this has been great having you here. Any last things you want to leave with us? we got about a minute left, Nick. Sure. You know, I think I, I want to highlight, you know, uh, one other entrepreneur group that came through. There's an entrepreneur group that we worked with closely with Great North Ventures and my friends Ryan and Rob Weber who are, uh, you know, they started a company here in St. Cloud called Native X. Um, these founders came through ILT Academy and the Venture Studio. They have gone from an idea to a $2.5 million investment in their company in 10 months coming through this program, learning all of those startup processes, and then working with the resources that we've been able to connect in central Minnesota. The, and and these two, uh, the two founders are from northern Minnesota. So, you know, our friends up at Innovate 218 and Grand Rapids, um, it's been a really, really great collaboration. And we want to see more of that coming out of this ecosystem. That's pretty exciting. ILTacademy.io is where people can learn more. Yes. Nick, it's been a blast having you here. Thank you. Such a positive person, right? It's like, oh, fun get to work around with. Nick, he's like, you don't want to leave. You just hang around Nick all day, right? <laughs> Barry, thank you so much.